Welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. Happy to have you. I am updating my stash today. My stash is my caboodle. So, because I'm a 90s kid for life. 80s baby, 90s kid. So, <laughs> I had to get a caboodle. I am probably not going to talk about everything that's in my stash. I just kind of want to talk about the things that I feel like are maybe worth talking about. So let's start with base products. I had my Fenty Ease drop in there. Um, I love this stuff. You know, I mentioned this in my foundation video. Six is the shade that Fenty matched me with. It's absolutely perfect. Seven works too. Um, I've used them both on their own. I've used them mixed. It's lovely. I even, I wore this yesterday and I worked out yesterday. I walked slash ran a couple of miles and this looked good even after that. So love it. I used my L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Foundation. I actually used this in my last Get Ready With Me. I used the shade 50, which is golden beige, which is a much better match for me than this. So again, like I mentioned in my foundation declutter, I'm going to be getting rid of this shade that's too warm for me and just hanging on to the one. But I really like this. It has SPF of 50. Um, I also, I mean, I've worn this in addition to my 50 SPF that I wear anyway. It looks fine, wears fine. I love how just like natural and skin-like this looks on me. So, loving that. Um, my primer, not a whole lot to say. My Vino Max Glow Serum and Primer. Um, I like this. I mean, it's just, it smells wonderful. It smells nice and fresh. Um, just is hydrating, makes my skin nice and um, plump and radiant and all the things I like, as you know. Um, I wanted to, okay, so I put this in my stash a while ago. This is, sorry, you're not going to be able to see that. It's my Revolution, like, soap brow, soap styler thing. And I don't really like this. Um, I love soap brows. I think I just need to get a different product. This has just started looking, I don't know. It just looks nasty. Like, look at my brush. Like, the actual product looks gross. And the last time I wore this, I did what I always do. I just comb my brows up with a spoolie, run that through it. But my brows looked so disgusting halfway through the day. You could, like, see the product in them. It was chunky. Not a good look. Not a good look whatsoever. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't even want to mess with it. My Pat McGrath under eye powder. Love, 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 love. It just makes your under eyes perfect. What can I say? My Fenty Cream Blush. I had Crush on Cupid. Love it. Used it in my last Get Ready With Me. Perfect, beautiful, like pink spring color. My Cody Airspun Loose Highlighter. I have um, Glow for Gold. I used this several times. It's pretty. It's a pretty enough product. Uh, I liked it more than I thought I would, but it will take me actual years to get through this product. Like, it's just not a highlighter. Like, a gold highlighter isn't my go-to. It's not my favorite shade of highlighter for myself. So... I just don't see a reason for me to hang on to this. I think that actually one of my daughters will really like this. I think this will look gorgeous on her. So I'm going to see if she wants this. 
but I like it. I'm glad that I finally got some use out of it because it is pretty. I like it. Used my Fenty Match Sticks. Okay, actually that's a lie. I did not use my foundation stick in bamboo. I didn't even put this in my foundation video. I don't know why. Um, but it's a perfect match. It's a perfect match. It's right there on my wrist. Probably can't even tell I have anything there, but I'm going to keep this in. I'm going to keep this in because I really, really did want to use that and I just never did. But I used both of my, I used Amber and Mocha. Most of the time I would just use these together. I don't, Amber is definitely a contour shade. It's super, super cool. I don't really contour anymore. So a lot of times I would just layer these. I do Amber and then Mocha and blend them out. But despite... I don't know, for some reason, whenever I see these or go to use them, I always think they're going to be really dry, but they're not. They're not, and they're so, so easy to blend out. Like, I really thought I was going to have to, like, work and buff these into my skin, but super easy. Super, super easy to use. My CoverGirl highlight. This is Pearl Crush. I liked this. Not a whole lot to say. It's a... It's a really pretty champagne-y highlight. My Flower Beauty Blush Balm, used this, I think maybe just twice, but I enjoyed it. I had cinnamon, it's a darker shade. Oh, actually I had two, <laughs> sorry. I had cinnamon and pinched and I mixed, I mixed these one of the times I used them just to kind of tone down that the deepness of the cinnamon, but I love those. You know how I feel about those. My sweet tea bronzer, wearing this today. Love it. Um, I put all of my new Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks in here. I'm wearing Tiger Teeny today. I used, um, gosh, I don't even know which ones I've used. I've used Dragon Mommy. I think I've used all of them except, yeah, I've worn all of them except for the pink, except for the ballerina, ballerina blackout. I have not worn this sort of like baby doll pink color, which I might actually keep that in too. What else did I say I was going to keep in? Oh. My fat, the matchstick. Okay. So I'm actually going to keep those things in, but I love these. I love these. Like they are such a, like this is a matte lipstick, but it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't look like a typical matte lipstick to me. It's so, so comfortable to wear. And then I had my Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade 2020, which is like this. Swatch it for you. Just like a dusty pink. Wore this several, several times. Love it again for being a matte lipstick and for being a girl who doesn't really like matte lipsticks. I love that lipstick formula. On to palettes, you guys. I was ter I've been terrible about taking pictures of my eye makeup and I don't know why um, I'll try to be better I had my Sigma Corda Rosa in here used this in my last get ready with me love it I had all my singles in here I wanted to incorporate some of these uh, I did use this once I used a lot of the neutrals of course and I used my shades from uh, DJ's unique boutique absolutely stunning absolutely stunning check her out and then I had my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe volume 2 palette I used this a lot I probably used this the most three or four times I just really like this palette I do I the neutral shades in here are so beautiful I did just like the easiest look yesterday I used this Perfectionist color. 
I deepened my crease and my outer V with this thick skin color. And then I just took bougie and just did like a light wash all over my lid. It was so soft and pretty. I used the oranges in here for a look. That might be the only look that I have a picture of. If I have a picture, I'll insert it. But I, I enjoy this palette. I do. I think it's good quality. But that's it. That's all the things I want to talk about that are in my stash. So I'll put all this stuff away and we'll go to my collection. Okay, we're at my collection. One thing I have forgot, it was hiding there in my caboodle, is this. This was in my stash last rotation, the Milani glow hydrating skin tint thing i'm getting rid of this i just am not a fan i don't like how it sits on my skin it's again it's pretty enough you know if you're looking for a drugstore or alternative to like the charlotte tilbury the auric but i have the auric i have two aurics and i i just am realistically not going to reach for this over my auric so i'm gonna see if my daughter wants this I don't know that she will, but getting rid of it. So let's jump into my foundations, you guys. I feel so much better looking at this drawer now. Um, what do I want to use? I definitely want to use, like I mentioned in that video, I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Get Real, um, the serum foundation they came out with. I'm going to figure out which shade I really, really like, which one is best for me. And what else? Kind of want something that's a little bit more coverage. Um, let's do, let's do my Wet n Wild the Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Let's give that a shot. Um, I do want to, I'm gonna keep my Neutrogena concealer in there, but I also want to, well, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of my Neutrogena concealer. I'm gonna give it a rest because it's been in for like three rotations. So I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath. We'll do that. Um, as far as powder, I mean, I really don't have that many. I just keep rotating through, but we'll do the Fenty. I have the shade Butter. So we'll do that. I'm going to keep my L'Oreal spray in there. I'm so close to being done. Um, and primer. Oh my God, I have like all dewy face products. Do I really want a dewy primer? Hmm. Why not? Let's just, let's really just go for it here. Face, face, face. Oh, what do I want? Um, I really want to use my Tower 28 more. And I want to get more use out of my Nabla. So pulling both of those in blushes what is this oh my tower 28 um i just did two flower beauties what is this shade tripping hmm. oh my gosh i have no idea um of want to use my novel blushes to be honest with you um and i may pull in a face palette too so let's stop there with blushes highlight oh i know what i want to use for highlight i'm gonna skip what's in this drawer for now oh i should have pulled that in my new patrick ta i've only used this a couple times but it's gorgeous um and maybe I got a little sample size of the, I don't know how you say that brand, say? Anyway, the shade is Star Glow. Yeah, we'll pull that in for a primer too. 
Why not? Uh, oh, okay. Palettes. I... I really, really want to pull in some colorful stuff. Um, let's skip palettes for now. Okay, just for now. Let's move on. I want to grab the face palette I want to use. I got this new Danessa Myricks. Uh, this is light work. You guys, this is so beautiful. Hang on, I'm going to show you. I only used it this once. I used it like the day after I got it. It's stunning. I'm using, I'm pulling this in. I have to, have to get some use out of that. Um, oh, look at this new Fenty. Oh, God. I'm going to pull this in. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so drawn to this. This is the color bubble binge so let's do that okay something i'm gonna do three i think three was i had three this last time and that felt like a good felt like a good number um i think i'm gonna pull this in this is brand new the melt cosmetics mary jane i have not tried this i've only swatched it Okay, this is my very, very first experience with Melt. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I am not blown away just by the swatches. But, you know, we're going to give it a chance. We're going to see how it performs on the eyes. Um... I don't know if there's, is there really anything else that I, you know what, let's get some use out of this. I have not used this for months and I feel like it does does kind of feel like a good pick for like spring into summertime. So we'll do that. And one more. I kind of want to do like a just a little drugstore palette. Let me find what I'm looking for here. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. We're going to use the Revlon So Fierce little quad. Um, I have the shade The Big Bang. Well, I have another one, but I really want to use this one. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that shade falls out. But we're going to get some use out of this. Some pretty spring colors in there too. And then I wanted to pull in, these are three singles that I got from the brand Moira Cosmetics. I got them a few weeks ago. I used them once. They creased like crazy. <laughs> they creased like crazy on me. They're really pretty though. I don't know. I just want to get a little bit more use out of them, but I don't know if they're really going to work all that well for me. So let's go to my lips. Okay. I already pulled in a gloss, that pink gloss, but those Fenty cream glosses are pretty pigmented. Um, what do I want? Oh, I did keep, I kept that other pink. Okay. I guess I'm just in a pink mood. I kept that ballerina pink in there. Um, let's do some of my proper, let's use this moxie shade. And what else? What else? What else? Um, something neutral. We'll do this L'Oreal. This is the, um, oh, this is part of their Color Riche line and I have it upside down. Color Riche Shine in Glossy Fawn. So we've got four lippies now. Let's go get everything put together. Okay, after thinking on this for a minute, this guy is going to be too big to fit in here. So we will, we'll get everything in, everything else in though. 